Okay. I'll do it. I'll cover the ankles coverage because he's the first one that I saw um, discussing it. And, um, I mean, a lot of people have come out with some, not everybody, but, like, a lot of people have talked about it at this point, so. Alrighty, you guys, welcome back to a brand new episode here on The Ankle. Hey, Ember. <laughs> Welcome to my shit show. Mm -hmm. So, you guys, thank you so much for tuning on in. Happy Thursday. Hope you guys are having a great day. Full moon tonight. Full moon. Make sure... Uh, well, I don't think I'm going to be able to see it. It's already, The coastal eddies already rolled in, so... I don't think I'll get to see it. But it is a full moon tonight. For today's video... Amber just posted, too big for the CT scan. Well, we could have called that, couldn't we? Uh, first Ozempic shot and weigh-in vlog. I wonder if this is just addressing the fact that she was too big for a CT scan and not actually, you know, she was too big. Because I, honestly, I don't think she's gone yet for that, but... I, I don't think that a doctor would have scheduled an appointment with a clinic that does the CT scan if they knew that she was too large for the device, right? So they would have already assessed her size, her weight, her circumference, all of these things and figured out like where was the best place to send her. That's why this does not, I mean, there's other things too, but that's why this particular video sounds like Amberlynn lies again. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe. But yeah, I don't have too much to say. I don't want to speculate all that much. I hope you guys are having a great day once again. And thank you so much for tuning in. Let's just see what Piggy Plops got for us today, huh? <laughs> Hey guys, so welcome to Hey Amber. A new vlog. I did just film a sit down video talking about like the reason why I'm getting a CT. So I saw a lot of comments saying that this is the exact same look and everything from a past video that she did like a month or so ago. To be honest, I don't remember the video. <laughs> well, I kind of vaguely do. But I mean, who knows, guys? Who knows? Do you really think that? This is all pre-recorded, and she's just waiting until now to let it out. I mean, I could kind of believe it, right? Maybe. Scan today. I don't know. She might just, like, have an outfit that with certain jewelry that she likes to wear. Um, but she could be playing with the timeline, just like Chantel does. So, who knows? I, I, I can't. I can't make a speculation on that one. And, I don't know, I kind of went on like a little <laughs> rant towards the end of there. I think I just had like a lot on my mind and I wanted to just get it off my chest. But that is why I'm wearing... Girl, you got a lot to get off your chest. The same thing that I was wearing. And since I'm getting a CT scan, I should probably take off my jewelry and stuff. Like, there's no reason to like have it on because I'm going to have to take it off anyway. So I'm going to take off my earring. Okay, so that's another indicator that... um she's made this bullshit up basically she's watching react channels like mine where i just stated a couple days ago that you know the ct scans are much more open than mris you're probably gonna be fine all you gotta do is take your jewelry off first thing she says in this video is well i have to take my jewelry off okay well, they wouldn't, your doctors wouldn't even have gotten that far into the conversation if you were not already gowned up and on the gurney getting ready to be loaded into the CT scan. Because that's when they give you the dish 
to take your jewelry off and put it there temporarily whilst and it's basically just because there's radiation right <sighs> these girls they watch our channels and they take bits and pieces but they take it out of context and they don't know what it means right so basically right before you get CT scanned. They ask you to take your jewelry off. That is not a conversation that you have in your doctor's office. And if they told you upon arrival at the place where you were supposed to get the CT scan that you were too large to fit in the machine, they wouldn't even bother telling you to take your jewelry off like that it would not have been a conversation right because they wouldn't have had you gown up at that point and actually do it when I close thank you for explaining the most mundane dumb stuff girl oh my god i have five rings on right now um norm why why are we going through counting she's like i have two earrings this five rings i'm gonna take them all off individually and stack them neatly on my counter shut up please <laughs> if you don't have me take off my nose rings so i'm just gonna like leave them i'm probably gonna ask them mm -hmm. should i take off my nose rings because that's just what i do they usually tell me no Ooh, yeah I'm amber no you can't leave your nose rings in what are you thinking oh my god these people are so daft i can't you understand it's radiation amber and radiation is more highly attracted to metal. Fuck's sake. She is clearly so full of anxiety right now because she's just yapping out of her ass like crazy. That's what it is. It's her anxiety. I'm really nervous, so I just don't really know what's going on with my health. And Well, girl, you've had plenty of time now to try and get it under control so mm -hmm. eh, sorry i don't have much sympathy in that matter I, i'm understanding that you know yeah i'm sure it's frightening but you know what did you expect to happen if you guys want to know just like a little bit about that you can watch the last video i uploaded oh shut up amber <laughs> please people know it because i kind of go into detail uh there's definitely no, you go on a rant and then you blame your audience once again. TMI and just a little uh, embarrassing stuff. <laughs> I felt kind of embarrassed, not gonna lie, but... Okay, can we move on to the actual vlog? I hate it when you sit here and just talk at us. This is my life, so... Pretty sad. And this is what I'm going through. Yeah, it's sad. <laughs> Both are sad. Yeah. Oh, Amber... By the way, the choker doesn't fucking work anymore. It looks like it's too tight. It looks like it's actually choking you. You should really stop wearing that piece of jewelry. It looks like shit on you. Oh, we're definitely getting back to 2019 weight, huh? Guys, I wish I was joking when I tell you this, but the freaking CT scan weight limit was my exact weight. Girl, I don't think it was the exact weight. Uh. Also... Well, because let's see what the weigh-in is, because there's no way it's going to be, like, some weird number. Why say it like the frickin' machine? Like, it's the machine's fault, girl. Send her off to the Oklahoma Zoo. So they didn't want to, like, have me do it, so they're calling my doctor on Monday, and I'm going to have to do it at a different place, but I just literally... As Dude, she could go to a farm vet, too. Zoo. They're going to send her to a zoo. I guarantee it. Unless there's, a, I don't know, I don't know Oklahoma standards, but unless there is a machine that can hold up to her weight, yeah. And I mean, the cancer uh, treatment center, whatever. I don't even think it's a weight issue. I think it's a circumference issue. I, I think the story is entirely bullshit, and she's just 
skirting off doctor's appointments again that she was allegedly going to their machines probably were some of the top-notch ones and she couldn't even fit into those so i have a feeling they're going to send her to a zoo i don't believe that like i'm so i get it it's my fault but like wow i really just want to figure out like what's going on but what are you standing outside now waiting for your mom to come pick you up again it's whatever hi what are you doing are you coming five minutes all right, I'll come to you then. My mom's taking a cigarette break. Oh. With her boyfriend, we just ate at a Denny's because there's a salad that she likes here, so. I was like, oh, sure. And what did Amber get? Okay, let's do it. Hello, guys. So I've been home for a bit. I spent the rest of the night with my mom. We just hung out and stuff, but I wanted to give you guys an update. Oh, my God. I swear to God, if she is going to cry. That... I did get my lab results back, and I have an A-OK -okay to start my injection. So okay. Is that what you were really waiting for? I don't think so. It looks like you've been crying, girl. So, it looks like maybe they told you something else also. So, I'm going to be starting this tomorrow, and I'm super excited. My vitamin D is low, um, so I do have to take some vitamin D supplements, which is... Mm. Remember the last time? Now, vitamin D being low in women mid-30s and up is pretty common. That's, uh, that's about the time that I was told to start taking vitamin D. Um, or to at least get 15 minutes of direct sunlight on my chest every day. That's what my gynecologist told me to do um to absorb vitamin d but um yeah the older we get that's like pretty common she had to take vitamin d supplements wasn't it cancer time i believe so no, not saying that there's like correlation but no, who knows no. who knows fine i figured it was gonna be low but since the last time I well girl and you expect me to believe that you're bringing twonks out to walk multiple multiple times a day i really don't think she is dude but i checked it has raised quite a bit like so i am happy about that so now i'm just ready to improve it some more but earlier i just told you guys side eye i don't believe it literally i'm passing while i'm standing in a freaking parking lot but i didn't get to do my ct scan today because that was the exact weight as the weight limit of the ct scan so i have to go to a different place and i hate like the weighty that's impossible amberlynn you were not the exact weight as the weight limit you flaked off that goddamn appointment let's be real like that's really gonna suck for me because i've just been like really anxious about this whole thing like what's going on mm -hmm. <laughs> what's going on i'm only 500 pounds <laughs> okay guys welcome to a new day today is the unless it's like 550 i ain't gonna believe it day that i am going back on ozempic and i'm gonna take my injection in just a couple hours so it only makes sense that we get a weigh in and we see my starting weight. I hope not. We well, I find it unbelievable that your blood work came back um, as a okay, as you say, um, for you to start taking your Ozempic shots, but at the same time you're freaking out about blood in your urine and can't get your CT scan. Do you see the contradiction in these things, Amberlynn, at all? Myself in a long time. And I know for a thousand percent fact, I have gained some weight. So, mm -hmm. so what gave it away? Let's, uh, let's see how much. Hello. Ain't ready. Hi, hundred point four pounds. No, there's no way. There's no way. Only, what, 10 or 15 pounds? Mm -hmm. No. Girl, you're going to tell me it all went to your face? I doubt it. 500.4. Okay, so today is... It hurt. It sounded very, like, creaky. She's also very red. 
So I don't know. I think she's still leaning on something. They want to be doing a Zempic again. And there's like a brain block for me. Like I physically can't put a needle inside of me. So my mom. Oh, girl. I roll. I mean, of all the things that Amberlynn is so freaking incompetent about, like, yeah, of course. She's not going to be able to give herself an injection. It's actually going to be doing it for me, which I'm very great. Could you imagine, like... I'm, I don't want to, like, put this energy out there, but just imagine if Twinkie was diabetic and Amberlynn had to give her a shot after every single meal. Do you think that she would? Mm -hmm. Do you think she'd keep up with that? I don't think so. Before, because I just literally can't do it. And I'm LOLing at the fact that, like, you... LOLing. Girl, you're 33. Shut up. <laughs> literally cannot see my earrings when my face is, like, straight forward. Oh... Girl, I said that in the last video. Hmm. Amber. Side eye. <laughs> so with Ozempic, we're going to be changing that, folks. Yeah, she's definitely watching the React channels. That's pretty funny. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, I don't even know what to say about that. She's, like, really hyper fixating on the commentary that we gave about like taking jewelry off having jewelry visible like it's really weird amberlynn it's um and i i'm gonna actually probably end my coverage of this pretty soon because i think it's absolutely shameful what you do in this segment to try and highlight your your mom's former drug use you better you freaking better girl it is ridiculous that you can't even see pom-poms on your freaking ears because your face is so big that's crazy I just have really big cheeks <laughs> yeah that's that's the only issue right. <laughs> and really big everything else this is the moment of truth folks i'm scared shut up shut up oh wait no that's gonna be her mom <laughs> I was thinking, like, the way she was giggling, like, is that Valentine? No. We haven't heard about Valentine in a few days, so <laughs> either they broke up or um, she never existed, which, hello, I think it's that one. Yeah, seriously. So you know what you're doing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Obviously. This is an ice pack, by the way. It's in this little thing. Why'd her mom say obviously like that? I thought her mom wasn't uh, injectables kind of girly. I guess not. <laughs> All the time, go inside of me? Yes, I've already said it before. I have, but it wasn't. She gave you alcohol wipes right here. Oh, she did. Okay, cool. When I did it before, it wasn't like a syringe like this. Uh huh. It was like a pen, and it yeah. had like weeks worth like in it. Right. So it's all of that at one time. Yeah. <laughs> ten. Ten cc's or ten. Is it one all at once? I guess. I think some of you guys were saying in the comments that it's not ten cc's. Um, I just shared something from Are You Serious that had the actual measurement. It's not ten cc's. Yeah, you do one dose for like the first week or so. And then you check back with your doctor. CCs? Yeah. <laughs> what, is that what it's called? CCs? Oh, what? Girl, she doesn't freaking know what that means. To be fair, I don't know what CCs means either. I get so nervous. So right here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just pick a spot on the mask. Clean the area. Because my brain, I cannot stab an Amber. You just gotta make sure you don't hit like an artery or a vein. Um, it's ideal if it just goes into like your butt or your shoulder, you know, that's where shots go. Okay, we freaking get it. Area in myself. Even her mom is like trying to get her to just shut up. Yeah, she's cleaning it with some, uh, what was it, alcohol swabs? Come on, girl. Lower the camera. Let's see that pink flesh. <laughs> Let's not. Yeah. Ready? Ready? What? You're done. You need a band-aid and a sticker? <laughs> Her mom.
mom is like lightly shady. <laughs> Do you want to Wait, know? speaking of sticker, when she took me to the doctor the other day, they had stickers at the entrance or the exit, and she goes, Do you want a sticker? So she got this bunch of SpongeBob. Where did I put it? Oh my god, girl, who freaking cares? Are we done? I'm like, <laughs> you probably threw it away. So what's weird about that is like She said you probably threw it away. Dude, even her mom knows the type of woman that Amberlynn is. Just thoughtless. Like, I feel the liquid. It's like a... Yeah. But like, I hear it in here, even yeah. though it's happening down here. Yeah. You're crazy, dude. I hear the liquid in my head. Right, Amberlynn? I hear the liquid in my head. For real? Oh, my God. You're freaking crazy. But, like, you don't hear it, do you? No. Since Amber, you, you're you crazy. Oh, my God, dude. Please find other people in your life that aren't just going to, like, say yes to you. You know, just agree with everything that you say. Because look at you, dog. Brain dead. Oh, oh my God. Going inside of me, though, I hear it. Yeah. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, Amber, please shut the hell up. You need to get, like, a needle disposal. She needs to get a friend. It's red. Yeah, so it's like... You can... Okay, listen, guys. That is a good idea. Yes, you do need to have safe disposal methods. What we used to do for Frankie's uh, diabetic needles, just put them in an old coffee container. Because the needles aren't strong enough to break through that, and then we would just tape it up before we brought it to the dump so no one would F with it, you know? So that way, because we're just going to put this in the garbage can like that, and I'm not really cool with that, you know? Yeah, we need to be, but, you know what I mean? Yeah. So just get you one of those, and then it'll take a long time. Look at her mom being such a safe needle user. Side <laughs> eye. Time to fill up, you know, and keep it, like, under your sink. Yeah, that's a good idea. So we go back Thursday, and I'm going to buy a yeah. vial, which is going to be, what, seven weeks worth of point two five. Yeah. Right. That was easy. So did we do it? Oh, 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 at least the dog's finally getting some lovin's. Granddaughter and grandma. And so then, yeah, let me move the camera back quickly. Not too much, Mom. You're not the star here. Oh, sweetie. All right, now we're off to see the wizard. You are, like, so mean to your mom, dude. On camera. That's wild. Want to go to Barnes & Noble's first? Yeah, we can do that. We're going to go to Barnes & Noble's. See you guys there. Oh, what? You're going to go get another journal? All right, so we're at the Barnes & Noble. Okay, this is where I stop my coverage. I will put the ankles link down if you want to watch her uh, shopping and her going to various restaurants and shit like i mean like we already had the denny's coverage in here um and then she's got starbucks and chick-fil-a in here too so constantly thinking about and talking about food and buying things she doesn't need i really am not interested in that part I just wanted to see this health update, so I'm going to end it here.